This is the first video of the Authority Accelerator series, how to own a niche as a framework beginner. We're going to go over all those four videos and on every video, we're going to get closer to how you can land your client as fast as possible. And you know me, I'm always straight to the point. So this video is as long as it should be, but as short as it could be. So let's get right into it. This is part of my Framer Freelance course. And this is just, I would say, a snippet, a subdirectory, whatever you want to call it, the Authority Accelerator series. So let's get right into it. How to own a niche as a Framer beginner. So let's start with the fundamental formula to sell anything. The person has to know, like, and trust you to buy from you. Let's take my own channel as an example. You discovered me, my brand via YouTube. So frame it with me. Then you start to like my style of teaching, my thumbnail, how my brand looks, the format of my videos. And then you start trusting me because I provide value to you. And then, and even then, I would say I have to provide value over and over and over again. It's just, it's not one time offer. It's not one time that I offer value and then you start buying from me. This is not how it works, unfortunately, and fortunately at the same time. So after you trust me, then you're going to give me your hard earned money. And same thing for your clients. So take yourself as a case study. It's not always the best thing to do, but uh, for me personally, this is how I function. It's very hard for me to buy something. I, it has to solve a specific problem for me. But other than that, it still gets into the no like and trust formula. So how does that apply to you as a framer beginner? getting started in freelance step one get discovered so that's the no pillar fastest way to get discovered is either with ads or cold emails organic content is great but you cannot control the algorithm and so unfortunately you cannot control your results they become predictable once you establish a lot a lot of like you have a lot of data for example now for my own brand my own youtube channel I can guess how many views my videos will get depending on the software that I use. So I use VidIQ to see how many people are looking for my videos. And I can guess like one video is going to get like 300 views per month. And then it could go up and up and up. But without that, I don't know. So if I wanted to reach you with ads, then I, I could do that. It's kind of different with educational content. So I won't really get off, uh, off track here. Uh, let's stay focused. Both requires a setup, but then it's pretty much on autopilot. Not everyone has the knowledge for ads, nor cold emails, but <laughs> this is how it is. Like you have to get started to, to actually hit the walls and fail to start getting results. So you have to fail fast. That That's the thing. With cold emails, my goodness, if I tell you what I did is complete garbage. <laughs> now I'm working with um, lead gen agency. And when I told them how I got clients, they, they were astonished in a sense that like, how did that work? And you don't, you don't know what you don't know. So you just have to start basically. Step two is be likable and it's the like filler. So embr embrace your quirks and personality. That's what makes you unique. I'm not saying like to like, if you're a jerk, then first step is basically to get better, I guess, self-improve because no, nobody wants to work with, honestly, nobody wants to work with jerks. Um, not you, not me. 
and not a lot of other people. So that's one thing here. Personally, I always try to add some humor to my cold emails. This is an example here. So I want to read it. Uh, subject, want to be on Google's first page. This is something that I want to use now. Like I'm sharing that with you. And one point though, do not copy. Like it doesn't do you well, especially let's say I teach you framework design and then I give you my templates and then 10 students from my course take the same template for mitzvahs or roofers whatsoever and then they're going to target the same roofers and then they're going to send them the exact same template both of you lose then when we compare another scenario 10 students 10 of them use their creativity uh one of them Let's say it's straight to the point. The other one is kind of sarcastic. The other one is kind of kind of funny. And they all reach out to the same client, which is kind of impossible to be fair. But just to make a point here, the client decided to work with the funny one because they are funny themselves and they relate to it. Another client, they don't like uh, silly things. So they will ignore the, the, the person that makes a makes a joke but they want to work with the straight to the point person so that's why you don't want to use templates as gospels and just use them as a i'd say as a base and then add your own twist to it this is not a template just it is following copywriting framework but this is all me so let's uh just dissect that real quick until now no one has refused to be on google first page and i like to put the emoji that's how i communicate personally this is this is how i am in real life and so i use that here's the thing everyone wants to be on the first page but not everyone can be on the first page if you are in at least on the top five search results, the amount of customers you're losing every day will blow your mind. I work only with Medspas, and I can confidently say that I know what works and what doesn't. I filmed a special video for you going over my entire strategy that helped every single client of mine rank on Google's first page without any fancy tricks, only simple fundamentals that works for any Medspa. Can I send it your way? And I can actually send that. Can I send the video your way? So it's more specific. Anyway, this is what I mean by be likable. Like if you read that, even I wanted to read it because I want to show you how I read my own emails. If you cannot read your own emails out loud, then you just have to make it again. If you cannot read it out loud, it sucks. As simple as that. And this is a great exercise for you to understand real quick if that makes sense or not. And if you cannot read it out loud, do not send it. As simple as that. Step three, value upfront. And that's the trust pillar. So we just saw the first one, the upfront value is strategic video showing them how they can rank on Google's first page. I would say 90% of them want that if they are not on the first page. If they are on the first page, obviously they not, won't be interested. And if they are working with someone already, they won't be interested. So, uh, I had another angle for that. And the most, most of the responses are already working with someone. I'm interested, but not now. So I have to circle back with a lot of clients. Uh, but works very, very well. And as you can see, I'm not even selling web design here. Not at all. Because this is mass outreach uh, called email sequences, okay? So this is why there's no name, no first compliment bullshit, nothing. And I can assure you this works. It's all about volume when it comes to cold emails. The second one is what I was using before when I didn't have any piece um, of portfolio when I switched to working with Metspas. So the upfront value is a redesigned homepage upfront. Like I don't ask for permission, I just 
do it. And it is meant for highly personalized outreach. So basically you make a list of 10 to 20 business that you want to work with. I highly suggest to work with local businesses for this because it's just easier to sell to them. And that's pretty much it. So subject, a special gift for owner name. As an example, let's say just special gift for Jessica. Yes, yes, yes. You read that right. I have a gift for you. I recently shifted and started working specifically with Metzbuzz. For this occasion, I decided to redesign your website. Uh, I should change that. Actually, this is a mistake. I decided to redesign your homepage to start building my portfolio in your industry. Over the past couple of weeks, I studied your industry like a maniac and I learned a lot. A lot of things that will be beneficial to your business, such as how to rank on Google, how to attract more customers, how to convert more customers. All possible with a few tweaks in your website. On your website or in your website? I don't know. Like a lot of mistakes here, but that's just a detail. In short, you are in good hands. Again, emoji, I really like to add those. You can click here to watch a short video presentation. And normally, usually I would say I, there is uh, the Tela or Loom GIF, GIF, I don't know how to pronounce that, that is playing underneath it. And they can see your face. I would suggest to do that, uh, especially in the beginning. Like, forget all about, oh, I don't have time for that. Like, bro, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. You have all the time in the world to make it work and to sign your first client. Because everything that you you're doing must be directed to sign your first client. Otherwise, you're just losing and wasting time. Anyway, again, here I'm able to read it out loud without any like weird sounds, weird formulation, like robotic bullshit. Very, very easy to read. The upfront value already said that. We designed a homepage upfront. And this method got me my first four clients. When I say four, first four clients is because I did that. I sent this, like I, I redesigned, let's say, I, I think 12 or 15 homepage for Metspas. And out of those, I got four clients, which is a great ratio, to be fair. And I stopped doing that because now I got client with mass outreach without any personalization because I have case studies. And this is where it all comes down, case studies, because the follow-up to that is, here's what happened with my client number one, and then follow-up, client number two, follow-up three, client number three, and then and so on and so forth. But when you don't have any case study, this is how it is. And with that, this is how you build your authority without any portfolio and just want to make like make this sure like i'm telling you you don't need to be an expert i am gonna repeat that again and again and again hammer that because i always hear that you need to build expertise blah 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 i built expertise in a year i've been doing that for now i'd say seven months in the mitzvah industry i didn't sign tons of clients, but that wasn't my goal. I wanted to have high quality clients that I can retain for as long as possible because the lifetime value of my clients are anywhere between 10K up to 25K and it could be even more than that. And so I don't really care how long it takes, but I do want to have high quality clients that I can work with for, let's say, three to four four years and over the span of four years they will be worth me even honestly more than that like approximately 50k at least um worth of spends with my business so this is it uh to recap step one get discovered no pillar step two be likable like pillar step three value upfront trust pillar I never asked that, but I guess I'm going to start doing that because 90% of my viewers aren't subscribers. And I honestly don't really care about metrics, but like, why wouldn't you be subscribed <laughs> if you're interested in 
framework content. So it doesn't really change anything to your life per se. To subscribe, click that button here. And that's pretty much it. Then the next step is for you to go to framerfreelance.com. Here's the website to put your email to join the waitlist for my upcoming course. But let's just go back here real quick. So either tomorrow or after tomorrow, I don't know because I don't want to put pressure on myself. I want to script the videos very, very good in a good way per se and provide as much value as possible. Again, the second video is going to be on how to get frame of clients without a portfolio. So we just saw that in my, um, my email template, I would say email script, and you know that you can do that, but you don't know how. So to tomorrow or after tomorrow, what I'm going to show you is how to sit like, we already saw how to select the niche. And if you don't see that video, just go back to my channel and look for the how to select a niche series. Then after you have one, we're going to see how we do our list. So a, a list of 10 people we want to work with and then can, that can afford us. And then we're going to redesign their homepage. And like I'm going to show you how I do it on my own. I'm going to select the roofer roofer niche something that i could have worked with but never really uh, got myself into so it's a, it would be a great challenge and you'll see how fast it is with framer you will get to see my process and that will bring us to video number three how to create and deliver framer websites in five days flat because of the second video with the second video we're going to create a template that you can reuse over and over and over again without really it's being flagrant because at the end of the day it could be it's going to be different for every client and even if it's kind of similar nobody cares just to tell you that and finally for the video how to still make money with clients who can't afford you i'm going to show you what kind of recurrent services i sell to my clients one of them is seo but there are a lot of other ways that you can still make money with the clients that cannot afford you. So with that, I'll see you on the next video.